Hi guys, welcome to the seventh video of the Smart Map in Python tutorial series. Now, in the previous video, we were installing and configuring our Atom IDE, as well as installing some external packages. In this video, um, we'll be looking at creating our GeoDjango application skeleton, and then we're going to um, run it and test if, if Django was installed properly. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open our Atom IDE. Okay, so that's open and now we're going to locate our terminal and we're going to open it in the bottom pane. Okay, and now we're going to um, change to root user. Okay, so now we're going to navigate to our Ebisys tutorials folder in our desktop. Okay, let's check. Okay, so we are in. And now we're going to um, activate our virtual environment. Okay, so now you can see our virtual environment has been activated. Um, <clears throat> so now the next thing that we're going to do is change into our water watch folder. Now that we are in our WaterWatch um, folder, we're going to create our WaterWatch project. So that will be Django admin dot py start project water watch. We're going to call it WaterWatch in small letters. Okay, and then a dot or point at the end run that okay I just pressed enter by the way um, and now if we look inside we can see our manage.py Python file has been created and our water watch application directory or project directory rather has been created so if we go into that project directory We can see our urls.py and our settings.py file has been created for us. Okay, so now we will go back to our WaterWatch um, folder. So we change directory. Okay, and now the second thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to create our first app. Okay, and then we're going to call it Water Watch App. Okay, so that will be Python manage.py start app water watch app. Okay, and then press enter. Okay, there we can see our Water Watch app has been created. So we change directory to water watch app to see what has been installed or what has been created for us. Okay, so you can see our entire application skeleton has been created for us. We have our admin.py, we have our views, our tests and our models filed. Okay, so everything looks good so far. Clear that. Okay. And then the next thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to change the permissions of the Ebisys tutorial um, folder on our desktop so that we can um, open that folder in our Atom IDE. Okay. So change directory. We go back. 
all the way to our desktop okay and now um, first of all okay before we do this I just want to mention that I'm going to give um, full access to this folder okay and that that is a very big uh, security concern when you're developing web applications um, you do not want to give full access to each and every folder and file in your project so however for uh, demo purposes and for teaching I'm going to do that so that we don't have to um, struggle while creating this project okay so that will be sudo change mod chmod and then 777 recursively dash r and then ebisys tutorials so this is going to give full permissions to ebisys tutorials folder and everything within it okay file and fold and subfolders so enter okay so now that we have that we can um we can open our project folder so go to file add project folder um abyssus tutorials water watch okay um add to this window and discard state okay now you can see our project has been added to the ide so if you list that you list that you can see our water watch app and all our app files are there and our server related files and settings files are under our water watch project okay so now the final thing that we're going to do is we're going to test and see if our geo django or django has been installed properly so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our water watch application directory um okay Okay, and then now we're gonna run our server. Okay, so it's Python manage.py run server. Enter. Okay, so as we can see, our server is currently running and um, it's running in port 8000 localhost. Okay, so we're going to type this in our browser and we should see a web page popping up telling us that Django was installed properly okay so we go to Firefox okay and now we go to local host port 8000 enter okay as you can see according to this um, page that Django um, gives us to tell us that it was installed successfully. So you can see the install worked successfully. Congratulations. So that means that our application was set up properly and Django was also installed properly. Okay. So we go back to our Atom IDE and we um, kill the server. So that's control C. Okay. Now we have stopped the server. Clear. And now we can open our, we can even close this terminal for now. And now we can, um, we can open one of our files. Let's say for instance, settings.py. Okay, and this is our settings files, which we'll be working on in the next video. So you can see Django has been successfully installed and the database that they're using by default is SQLite, which we're going to change. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, thank you very much. Um, if this helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you.